This is Game Informer's Test Chamber. I'm Andrew Reiner. Jeff Corks here. Hello. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing quite well. How about We're yourself? reading words. Reading words. Love it. Good start to a game. Favorite thing to read. Star Wars starts with words. Uh -huh. Is awesome. Yep. Game of Thrones starts with words. Is pretty good. So we're not watching an actual TV show, Jeff. You're kidding me. This is, uh, these are graphics in a video game. Huh. It's By like Telltale a, Games. It's like a painting movie. These men are being merry. Lots of good beards. Having a tent party. Tent <laughs> party, all right. Uh, that's what they're called, right? There's a horse. I'm just going to say whatever I see, trees. So this is Game of Thrones. Uh, who could forget Garrett Tuttle? <laughs> so it follows the family of the foresters. Okay. And we're going to talk over this. Sorry, people, but... Um, they're just talking about life and, and dirty swords. That's all you're missing here. The foresters, what line of work are they in, coincidentally enough? Foresting. That's interesting. With the Ironwoods. So they, they used to be loyal to House Stark. They were Make loosely sure mentioned, just time. barely or mentioned or in or A Dance of Dragons, the, the fifth book by George R. R. Martin. Uh, and they haven't appeared in the TV show yet. But this is canon to HBO's series. Really? Yes. It's not written by Martin or the HBO people, but it, they did. They are involved in it. Um, and it, it's written by Telltale. And it's pretty damn good. I really enjoyed it. So they have to cast someone who looks like this guy. Correct. It's going to be rough. So it's weird because all the characters, they definitely look like Telltale characters, right? Yeah. But you're going to see like Cersei and Tyrion... And they look like they're, let's see how doughy-eyed they get, like really mm -hmm. expressive. You don't see that really with Tyrion or the other characters. So they kind of clash a little bit with yeah. them. Yeah. night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. So they, these guys are out here. There was a, a wedding that took place in season three mm -hmm. of HBO series and in the third book of Martin series. Yes. And um, they're outside the castle kind of talking about what happened and uh, okay, you know, bringing up Jamie and, and certain other characters that uh, have had some you know moments in, in the books, big moments. But they don't really go into it. And I can't really comment on... If this would be good to play if you haven't watched the movies or the show or read yeah. the books, uh, obviously I have done that, so I can't have that knowledge if it would be interesting without it. Yes. But they do dance around it as much as they can without, like, spoiling it for would you. Would you say it's a dance with dragons? I would say it is very much a dance with dragons. So this is Nestle. In the winds of winter. This is embarrassing because I've watched the entirety of the show. It's on season four is upcoming, is that correct? Season five is, is Season coming. five, okay. And is this, this takes place between season, season four and three? five. Yeah, between okay. three and five. So okay. it is kind of a new season four, okay. a second season four. And there's going to be six episodes mm -hmm. in total. This is episode one. It's out uh, now on some systems and tomorrow on others. Uh, I believe Xbox One, which we're playing on, is on Wednesday. Okay. And... Uh, it's 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 really good. Like I, I liked. It's a conversation simulator, as they call it. I don't think that's a bad thing now. Yeah. Um, I enjoy Telltale's games. The action they have, I'm not really engaged in. They do make it intense, but it is just button pressing things. Mm -hmm. The best parts of their games are the conversations, right? Right. Which we're doing a good job of talking over. Yes. So. It's, a, it's a different look for Telltale games. It has a kind of a mural painting. You know, their character models still look the same, but. They very much have um, different textures for all their games, right? Mm -hmm. The Walking Dead looks different than Wolf Among Us. Uh, Borderlands looks different than those. And then this, you know, has another kind of palette swap, yeah. so to speak. This guy has a really good frown. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's one of the playable characters. There are three playable characters in this chapter. Oh, God, Bran isn't one of them, is he? No. Good. No Starks. Okay, good. This is Stark-free. It's Stark-free. All right. And... Um, it's it's kind of framed like more like Martin's books where he'll bring up their name, kind of like the beginning of a new chapter, um, and it switches between them. But it it all runs in kind of one timeline. There isn't anything overlapping. Okay. So like if he sends off a raven, you'll pick up with Mira and at King's Landing when she has the, the raven. Um, so they kind of lead you along on a, a smooth narrative rather than it being kind of chaotic like Martin's last two books. Okay. Or even the TV show to a mm -hmm. degree with with Danny and stuff like that. 
It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. There's a lot of shoulder touching. There is. This, That's episode. The There's no humping in this. So, but this is that is coming, right? Maybe deserved. you think? Uh, we'll see. I, I, I think it might be replaced by the the shoulder touching. You <laughs> think they're just going with more of a platonic thing? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You'll see naked people, but they just touch shoulders. Yeah. Actually, you don't. But. Hopefully that's what they do in the next episode. Candlesticks blocking all the good parts. I will, my lord. Thank you. All right, so we're going to get to some uh, interesting stuff here pretty quick. They're out of wine. Uh-oh. And guess what? You're a squire, and guess what squires do? I uh, find the guy who gets the wine. Do it yourself. See, I'm helping. Jeff, you're going down the bad path. So... It's a telltale production. Mm -hmm. They give you a lot of choice. You see a lot of things like this where characters remember that or take note or yeah. are approve of something or appreciate it. Um, I don't know you, if those choices really make a big difference in the end. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, in past telltale games, they haven't. Mm -hmm. But they do such a good job of making it feel important what you're doing yeah. and kind of having that illusion of, of choice and like, oh man, I really screwed myself. Yeah. Yeah, no matter what, you might end up screwing yourself. Mm -hmm. Like someone's always going to die. It's just a matter of when. It's kind of like what your choices do sometimes. And there's a lot more choice in this, I think, than in, in most telltale games uh, because it is so heavy on, on the conversations. Just shut your mouth. I told this guy to shut up twice. Like it is just not taking. <laughs> All I'm saying is I don't like the way he carries his jug. You gotta hold the handle. That could just fall out. Yeah. The lowest of the low. You're a jerk. His palms are gonna get sweaty and game over. You're out of this tent party, buddy. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm just done with that guy. So you know what they're talking about there? Yeah. How much further... I was That's just right wondering that. I mean, they don't even have the wine yet. Those are just empty jugs that they're complaining about. What uh, happens when they get the wine? I have a feeling we're going to find out in episode two. Or do I find out now? Take your time. You're going to find out right here. You <sighs> now watch how observant this squire is. Good thing, Lord Walters. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice, nice. Okay, nice. what does Second. he see? Barrel? Oh... Uh, Barrel? Hmm. Why are we fetching wine? What? Shoes? Crossbow? Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Just start stabbing tents. Can I do that? You're going to be doing a lot of that in a second. Hmm. Castle? It's all adding up? Yep. Hmm. And they can wait. No, you don't. Ugh. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. This is kind of a massive spoiler if you haven't been watching the show or reading the books. Owen, we have to go. Kinda. Oh, yeah? Do they Well you'll see. Dance you'll with see. dragons around it? Yes. But what about Did you save him? Yeah. I thought you said you were done with him. What's the rush? Run! Run! I don't know. There's no consistency to my choices right now. Okay, here comes the good fighting. Well, that's the thing they do so well in their games is a lot of choices come under the gun, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you panic. Yes. And you pick the wrong thing. And then you regret it. And oh, you yeah. just keep making mistakes. I instantly regret. So here's some classic Telltale action. I'm going to botch this. And I'm I would rather... Out. I mean, if they're not going to flesh these out... I mean, let me watch them. This really doesn't add much. Yeah. There's moments where it is tense and you're doing something, but for the like, most part, they're the whole, super easy. Like wiping blood off the sword at the beginning, which is silly. Yeah. Oh, am I going to jam on a button? Hmm. What do you got to do here, Jeff? Uh, oh, move your... Move. Yeah, right button. Oh. oh. Those helmets are useless. Huh? All right. What's going to happen? Ready, boys. Whoa. So the foresters are pretty interesting. Um, there's going to be more playable characters in future episodes. And uh, yeah. more 
uh, characters from the TV show. Oh, that's what they call it, Ironwood. <gasps> yep, that's what they. Oh! That's their specialty, making weapons out of Ironwood or armor sucks or Good. shields. Did you see how he went right through the chainmail? Where did that come from? Just a flaming cart. Good move. How hot do you think that is? Um, probably right now it's like 100 degrees and it's steadily climbing. Oh no! Enough to make s'mores or? Look at that ironwood, doesn't burn. Nope. It's like iron. You know what I would do? What I'd would you do? Go in a tent. That would be a really good move. They're probably still partying in them. Oh, this is one of those you're going to lose. Oh, this part's awesome. But, uh, yeah, I hope it's awesome. This is like War Horse here. I don't know what that I'm is. not just Steven Spielberg. That was War Horse. <laughs> I should see that. Sounds really great. Oh, I like that yell. Ah. Oh, his head's coming. God, they're not good at horses. That's not War Horse. He would never do that. Wow. Oh, Brody. Gross. Just like the show. Life is cheap. It does hold true to the show in terms of having no sympathy for the player. The phrase, they, they slaughtered him, my lord. You should wipe off your armor. That'll be a uh, mini game that comes up soon. Oh, there he is. The flagon guy. He's the baddest of the bad. Oh! Hi, friend. Why did they let him get so close to begin with? Oh! oh. So I want to say this is Telltale's longest game as well. It goes by pretty quick, but it is... I think it's over two hours. Oh, wow. And it already seems like I'm making more choices just in the introduction than... I'm curious what you're going to do right here. Uh-oh. Well, watch and see. We have to keep moving, my I, I always just pick dot, dot, dot. Do you? Every, <laughs> everything. Big no. silent type. <laughs> I wonder what that would be like playing Walking Dead and this game just doing that the whole time. I did. I played with my wife when we did uh, Wolf Among Us, and she'd pick dot, dot, dot a lot. And it was infuriating. Why would she do that? I don't even know. She's just like, ah, I don't. Well, I guess I do know. She said, I don't like the choices they gave me. Where it belongs. There's no time to waste. You probably need this to lean on, but it's mine. Yeah. You can just hang it on this little bit. Have to go. Oh, hook. You're welcome to the fucking torch. There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. Must go. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. <laughs> He'll remember that. Yeah, watch this. This is awesome. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. Tell only the Castellan. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <clears throat> we love them. Oh, no. You should probably go, Jeff. He remembered that, though. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he remembered it really hard. <laughs> so you did all the same big choices. Okay. The, kind of the... Altering choices that I did. So you saved the squire? I did. Interesting. <gasps> Are we watching the television program? Yeah, this is uh, in engine. Is it? As you can see, it's not quite as smooth flying through the world as the TV show. <laughs> but it's still kind of cool, right? Yeah, sure. And I bet this will change for the uh, future episodes. You know, yeah, as they always point out where you go. Yeah, exactly. Remember when that bridge was built? Oh, man, who could forget? It's a big event. Just the wall, as it says. Yeah. It's a big deal. It's an iceberg that they're making a big deal out of for no reason. Iron Wrath. Iron Ranch. 
ranch dressing. <laughs> so that's a new lo- new location you haven't seen in the TV show or right. read about. That's where the foresters are. Okay. What is their sigil? Is that what does their little banner look like? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah. It's on their shield, though. I think I okay. saw it a billion times. I just can't remember what it is. Yeah. So episode one, Iron from Ice. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's their kind of big saying that they say to everyone. Okay. Iron from Ice. Mm-hmm. Oh, because Iron Wood from the cold spots. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well done. Here's the credits. Here's who made the game. There's a pig. <laughs> yeah. Babe, still walking. He was in the city and now he's here. Yep. <laughs> made a wrong turn. I'm going to look around. So again, they give you control, but it's it's not super great. You could walk around here. Oh. I think it's RT will speed you up a little. Oinky. Won't let me do anything with the pig. No. Oh, what's that, Jeff? Uh, I believe it's blood. No. Let's look at the blood. Blood. It's red. What do you think he's going to say? Fresh. Ah. Uh, you missed your chance. Sticky. Dead pig. Okay, what is he going to say here? It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? Yum. There are no words. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is like a painting. Uh-huh. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And there's just your typical video game blocking a path. Yep. <laughs> with a sideways cart. Just a cart. Clearly not interested in it. Up oh, a different cart, though. Let's look at this cart. Something happened here. Okay, what's he going to say? No. My hay. That's father's cart. This father's cart? Uh-huh. Not the fence, too. So many F-bombs. So much blood. (gasps) No. No! I can't move anymore. Oh, yeah? Guess who that is. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Oh. I'm going to I did that too, Jeff. We're like the same person. Is that so? He really you pulled that great sword life. out of that scabbard with great ease. Yeah. Get I did use both He's hands. like Cloud Strife. He's amazing. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I so obviously the War of the Five the Kings going on. Like that. A lot of uh, unrest Ooh. between the houses. House Stark, obviously, uh, in pretty rough shape. And these guys served House Stark. Yes. I'll have that sword, boy. No. It's mine. How do I say There. There's no. the sigil. There we go. Do you see it? It's a tree. You. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Dude, we are like the same person playing this game. Oh, no. Did you fall down too? Yep. Why did we do that? Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chops. There we go. Look what I found. What are you going to pick? You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? That's what I did, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I hit him in the neck. Oh. Oh, look at my eyes. Expressive. <laughs> oh. Probably should have gone in at the same time, huh? Yeah, that guy should help. Oh, yeah! Now I've got the sword. Uh, Uh-oh. That didn't happen to me. Really? He stabbed a beet. Now he's stabbing it. I'm going to throw him into a beehive. Is there a beehive nearby that I could... Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You're super good. Merci. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. No one would survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. Everyone has a family. Oh, and I let him go. I let him go. So, Lord Whitehill. Oh, why didn't he stab the horse? And 
take a time to reflect on what I've done <laughs> and run to father with injured leg. Father? Oh. Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. Is she in that log? No. That was her dress. No. I tried to stop them. Oh, dad. I think we blew it. We should have gone to dad. Not a good start, right? Mm -mm. But very true to okay. the show. Yep. This. And also true to what Telltale does. It feels like very much like Walking Dead. We're down pigs. We're down a cart. We're down a dad. It's not looking good for House Forester. And I, I really thought long and hard while I was doing the re review of what makes their games feel so distinct. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is that kind of funneling of big plot points into choice. Yeah. Or choice, or the big plot points coming out of that choice. And it all kind of comes to head with what you do, mm -hmm. which I think is, is pretty cool. And you don't see a lot in in, uh, in games, but it really works well for Telltale. They got a, a good grasp on it. Yeah, I, mean, I like that a lot of games you make choices. I like how they kind of flag so-and-so will remember this. It's really like a nice like feedback where you feel like, oh, okay, stuff does matter, even though it happens invisibly in other Yeah, games. and they don't really follow through on it all the time, though. No. Well, like that guy who died almost instantly after <laughs> saying he'll remember that. Yeah, that's his last thought. Meet yeah. us in the Great Hall, quickly. Uh? I just want a button there I can blurt out. So you we're going to do one choice here. One choice, okay. Uh, which kind of frames, well, we might be able to get to the second playable character Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Mm. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Quit stitching my Adjusted pants. You gotta heal me. What is he stitching Some it with? Call it vengeance. Well, watch this. He's opening the wound. Oh, and it was how do they family. deal with wounds back then, Jeff? I would have done any different than you. It was justice. Leeches. They got what they deserve. Close. They did indeed. Dragon. Let the teeth. <laughs> right color. Fire. These maggots ought to help prevent it. Ah, maggots. Hold the wound open for me, would you? This is awesome. <gasps> I <laughs> do not want to do that. <laughs> okay, fine. You got to hold it then to the direction. There you go. Oh, yuck. Uh, it's like corn. Would you just be like, just cut off the leg? I don't want, I don't I want think these I'm things done. in me. Yeah, just to lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. What is he doing? S spreading butter on it. <laughs> the late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. Mm -hmm. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether Ethan. unprepared to lead. Is he going to need right. my counsel? Uh, he is. This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? He's a tough guy. I understand from oh, your yeah. uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. I saw this wagon on fire and I crawled himself. under it. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Oh, he gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? Oh, Jeff. What did he tell you? Ah. Get my uncle. I was told only to You tell almost him. gave away a Your secret. Uncle. I almost gave away a secret <laughs> big time. <laughs> You're one of those guys that teases uh, it. I can't. <laughs> Ask me again about it. <laughs> I'm going to blink hard. How's it feel, Jeff? The old leg feels good as new. Let's see. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. So this is a point where you can look at things. You got it. So there's three things to look at up there. There's the painting. 
I'm circulating. There's a window and a chair, I think. Ah, the this is my favorite part of the game right here. Looking the, at the, looking at the chair. chair. I mean, just the detail they went to in modeling that cushion. Mm -hmm. Man. Wow, that looks comfy. It's empty. You, have a lot. you can, like, put your legs up on that and cross them. And then the windows are right there. This is really cool, too. The Ironwood Grove. Wow. I didn't Glad you could see it. We yeah. didn't want to see it. I had no interest in seeing it. And then I do that. Mural. I do that in the office. I look out the window and go, the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Hmm. Let's see oh, who's your boy. family. You want to look at all of them? So Asher, I all believe right. he'll be a playable character in the next episode. We'll see. Wessos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. It's quite the shredder. Mira's Mira. playable <gasps> in this She's episode. In She's in possible. King's Landing. Okay. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her Handmaiden to Marjorie. Hmm. She's always been kind to me. Treat she looks me like, like Caitlin Stark, kind myself. of. She does. That's exactly what I thought. You'll see see her a bunch. Ryan. Never he's, in the fourth born son. he's nowhere to be found. He'll never be in this. <laughs> Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Okay. He was our best like warrior by far. All right. I think that's it. We'll see. Maybe there's one more thing to look at over here. Always sad to see a warrior. Oh yeah, look at. Uh... I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look. Hmm. <laughs> Had some good times with these <laughs> bandages. Takes me back. Just like the show, right? Where they yeah. do that. And they pick up the herbs and smell them. They smile. Put them He's in their just pocket. taking it all. Like, you don't need this stuff. Touch it lovingly. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Oh. You have like 10 of them in your leg. All right, talk to him. Did your leg feel weak? No. It feels super great. I just wanted to ask you. Hmm? <laughs> Can I leave now? Can I go now? <laughs> I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... All right, here we go. Lady Who Forrester. is that? Welcome Not home, Caitlin. Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Is she too young to be a love interest? I can't gauge... Like I, approximate I'm not sure. Yeah. In this scenario. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Okay, she's being told to go to bed, so it's probably it's still sunny outside. Yeah, I'm a jerk. Eric was just telling me. Do you mean dinner? Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Yeah. Whatever you can recall. Oh, nice. Good play. I didn't do that. Keep a little mystery going. He said Lord Forrester was sure the the maggots. And what of Roderick? He was with you as well. I'm Let me sure show you these bandages. Chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh? Roderick was Fire. certainly missed. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told. I was told who, you were the last. Who cleans up wax? Alive. Yes, that's the maestro. Lady. That's where one of those I links in his jeans is from. Remember He's really slacking on that. Yeah. Was there anything he said? Any last words before he Oh, passed? God, they really want you can <laughs> you're gonna open up. It would mean so You're supposed to give her the sword. That was for... Mm, it's mine. <laughs> what am I going to do without a sword? Never presented itself. I gave it to her. You have the forester's sword. Uh-uh. Ethan should <laughs> It's actually a <laughs> run. It's a deer. Those are antlers. Those aren't branches. This is where it belongs. 
with his family. Thank you. See, there's that illusion of choice, right? Yeah. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. So here we go. Here's here's a big big final moment with this guy here. Not final for the game, but um, what we're going to end you with. They were okay. our people, your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see so us. These guys are like the right and left hand Ramsey of Snow the Lord here. Bastard. Okay. Uh, one of them will that eventually become Sentinel. You know, that's we something you get to determine. And the White Hill will be held accountable for both. And Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. <laughs> We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. That guy is no good. No, he's he's bad. Those bad, 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 bad. Say they were keeping the peace. He's a character the from the House show, Walter. right? And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to mm. our shoulders. And they have the actual actors and forms. actresses from the show. Maybe yeah. you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough. It's like already. a Kenny versus Lee Black scenario Russia. here. He deserves to be heard. Oh. It was his family they killed. It's, My let's be smart. Right. And Peter smart. Dinklage gives a really great performance as Tyrion. Nice. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Maybe I should tell that secret to my uncle. Ultimately, that's the whole point of this. <laughs> you should tease it again. He's just a boy who can barely bad. hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty, but now, this. I'll what? accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for eyes. what he did. Uh, Fuck the Boltons. Whoa, yeah, men of course. My Hot mouth. Why? You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay today, Duncan. The boy has suffered enough. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. <laughs> You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing the wall? wrong. Not in the eyes of you the know Boltons. who's there. I'm afraid it's the only solution. The guy who Especially talks now, to the ravens, the house is so vulnerable. or feeds them. Mm -hmm. no what's his name? Fair, but it is what's best. The the little chubby guy? Yeah. Upon us all. Yeah, what is his name? I know that's not what you Sam? Want to <laughs> sure. Difficult yeah, that his name? It might be. It might be the same as Lord of the Rings. think of the house. I'll do what's asked. You really burn that. I know. It doesn't I know. seem fair. But it is you get more best. points. Oh. Also, I have this amazing that's secret that I need to tell you. <laughs> the entire point of this. Okay, he's gone. Okay. You can have okay. my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The white oh, hills. Free horse. Here we go. You. Why would you ever go to the wall? Just just go off, do something else. Yeah. Gotta go, I guess. Now that we're out in the open, I can tell you this amazing secret. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. All right, Lord Jeff. Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. If I wanted to ride a van. <laughs> we were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... And I at Roderick's side, but I did what's well best. Deserved, uh, you worked hard and served your lord with honor. I really like House Forester. That's how I role played I've been it. Waiting for the right moment to tell you. I don't want to. What? Do what is it? It's important. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me to give you a message. It's really said, important. <laughs> the North Grove can never be lost. North? Sorry. This, this, you this is interesting. Right. It's not often discussed, if ever. Yeah. What is the North Grove? Most. That's a secret. Exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. 
You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. <laughs> uh, I like the way you play. I can only hope Lord Forrester wasn't wrong to uh -oh. put his trust in you. Hey. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, we'll see. I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? But I have a feeling it's where some trees are. Anyone at the wall. Yes. Become oh. a ranger if you can. It will help. Plot thickens. All interesting stuff. I want to see where this totally goes. Didn't react at all. It's like it's sulking. Yeah. Well, uh, you from you embedded that in him. I am from ice. I created all a your monster. dot dot dots. Yeah. Remember. You Ellipses. represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. Aw. Fist bump him. Have. Yep. Right on the forehead. See ya. Getting a cool black cloak. Gonna range it up. Like your horse. Thanks. It's supposed to be on a van. <laughs> Jared, wait. No. You be in bed. <laughs> See, this is this is pointless. Why put this? Like, I'm not invested in picking up a necklace. I can't not pick it up. I want you to make you feel like you're doing it. Which, yes, I agree. Why couldn't I just hit A? Correct. Or they just give it to you. Or just cuts in. It's kind of a badass. Yeah, I like him. I liked all three of the playable yeah. characters. Ethan, he's the young lord of the house. He, he gets put in some really tough decisions. So does uh, Mira with she has to talk to Cersei and Tyrion. And talking to Cersei yeah. is terrifying. Nice. I totally botched it. <laughs> it's so here's the transition to the to playing as Ethan then. The little lord. So it's a little different than other Telltale games where it's a very uh, intimate experience. This mm -hmm. one... Uh, gives you different perspectives, just like Game of Thrones does. So we're not going to go any further. That's yeah. the very first part of the game. There's a lot of game here. Uh, and it's going to be six episodes, so it's That's longer good. than yeah. their others. And it's out now on some platforms, I think PS4, PC, and then uh, maybe PS3, 360, and Xbox One tomorrow. I'm not sure. But definitely check if you're interested in playing it. Check your uh, systems to see if it's out. And uh, there's a season pass available. I believe it's $4.99 for the first episode. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's Game Informer's Test Chamber. Sorry for talking over parts of it, but uh, make that's better kind of choices. what we have to do here. And make better choices than Jeff. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Bye.